hi welcome to my first binder tour today i was just going to be flipping through my binder saying a little bit about it so here's the front cover it's pretty simple i like designed it it's a sheet of paper that's just slipped into the front and then on the side there's a couple of little printed out photos of people i collect and then on the back there's just a little art i did and some extra little freebie photos so on the first page is twice so i'll skip this along uh, i collect chill all the korean album stuff hopefully one day it's very much not completed yet so i have the front cover with just a couple of photos of her and a photo of twice so i have first page page one and page two i have everything except the sideways chill baby photo so maybe one day i'll get that hopefully <laughs> i really wish and then this is my first completed page i'm so happy with this so i have lane one and then lane two sadly i actually don't have the cd plate for lane one but to be fair you can't really tell that from my binder so i'm quite happy with this page and a little photo of mummy chan because that's my favorite photo of her ever and then i have signal which is a bit patchy i still don't have the pink photo card and the pose photo card but I did recently get this in the post I'm so thankful it's such a cute photo card and I especially love the back as there's a little drawing from the, like signal drawings they use them a lot in concert photos so they're really cute and I love them all so much I almost bought a figurine but it actually got cancelled because they ran out of it so that's probably a good thing otherwise now I'd be covered in like t thousands of little figurines of twice and I have Twistagram and Marion Happy. Now, Twistagram is actually my first ever album I got, so this must have been the first ever photo card I ever got, which I still have to this day. And it's very, very cute. I love that photo card. And I recently got this one in the post because I didn't have a lot of Chang stuff for Twistagram for a very long time. But I now have her little signature back card, which is amazing. I love it so much. I really want to get the Instagram one back just like this one because they're really cute I wish this was similar to this one where it had the photo on the back too but it is an amazing photo on the front and then I have the cover sticker which as you can see is a bit blank I'd love to get another one of these but it's not high on my priority list so I do have the stickers that one's on my album that one's on a pencil case so I can know, let everyone at school know that I am a nerd and this one's in my diary and then a couple of hearts are all around my diary as well and then i have what is love this page is so close to being complete i just need the chaetsu sticker which i'd love to get but i have to admit because i have the diane and chaeyoung one i don't think i really have that so high up on my priority list but then i have the second page which I wish I had this photo card just because it would look great in an X but also that's definitely my favourite photo card the one where she's wearing the cute little yellow dress that they had in the music videos for the dance scenes but this one is also my like second and then on the other page the little unicorn one this one so 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 cute I love that so much and then I have a little space oh I just skipped a page that's great um, but then I have Summer Nights, and this is actually an album I don't have yet, which I'd love to get sometime soon. But for now, we're just gonna keep it like this, and then a lot of photo cards, because I actually ran out of pages for photo cards, nine pocket sleeves, so we just got three in this page. <laughs> just shh, don't look too closely. And then a little space for the Polaroid, and then on the other side, we have the little film slip from Yes or Yes, which I pulled in the album. But well, technically I bought the album with it because it was already like pre-opened but I really like that. I was surprised because Yes or Yes I really didn't like when it came out but I do really like this now. It's just an iconic song. And then I have actually a couple of spaces that need to be filled with little papers or something so I'm gonna do that sometime. Whoopsie! I should have done that but it's a very realistic binder tour you know? And then I have the three photo cards I do have from the album along with that one on this page. I'd love to complete this set, but I'm kind of annoyed how these photo cards are all... It's quite funny, I've pulled a set of all the ones where she has the green back for like the green screen. But they are cute photo cards, I love them so much. And then I have Fancy. Whoop. 
uh, <laughs> I don't have the fancy album yet because I really want to get the C version I think it is the one with this uh, the B version I really want to get that since I just love the like kind of chill aesthetic of it it's really cute so hopefully one day I'll get that but for now I just have one photo card from the album that I got in a trade and then feel special oh the latest era of town my favorite these outfits man oh i pulled both these i'll just flip to the next page quickly i pulled all of these ones with the like holographic shirt and trouser combo so cute i mean pants combo if you say it in america <laughs> i don't know but um just such a cute like that was already my favorite i got the blue album because it was already so cute just like the little the adorable little how do you say the pastel kind of shiny almost sparkly but shiny i guess satin would be the word the textile student just doesn't know words <laughs> But yeah, and then I got the gold card recently, so I now have a full set, the holographic, so cute. And then I only have a couple photo cards from this one, but such cute photo cards, so happy that I pulled those. And then now is onto my Promise 9 collection, as that's up to date for their albums, apart from the Year of Yes, which I just don't have anything for, sadly. Hopefully one day I'll actually buy the album, that would be nice. <laughs> So from S9, I collect Soyeon, Gyuri, and Jiwon. And as you can see on the first page, since the albums went out of print for quite a while, it's kind of patchy. Well, when I say kind of, very patchy. I am gonna only collect Gyuri's two heart ID because they are just nowhere to be found at the moment. But for now I have Jiwon's, which is really sweet because she is someone that I do collect. So I'm very happy with that. And I have Gyuri's Polaroid and Soyeon's Polaroid, which is actually bent which I bought Bent because the person was selling it for really cheap and I thought Bent is better than nothing but they wanted to give it to me for free because they were like oh it's not worth paying for but I was like please no let me pay you at least something for it I can't take this from you so yeah I was really lucky that I have got two Polaroids in this and then I also have Juwon's name tag I also have cuties on my bag but that was before I started collecting because I pulled it in the album so I have her blue name tag on my bag, which is like real scratched up because I've had that bag for ages. In fact, it's been t on two of my bags, two of my school bags. So that's um, not in the best condition, <laughs> let's just say that. And then also the Kino group cards. Hopefully one day I'll have Love Bomb Kino, but who knows? Probably never. It's high up on my list of things if it's at a reasonable price. And then I have a full set of the two day stuff and oh my codes, don't take my codes, no not my codes, no you can't use them on the website anymore so feel free to try and put them in if you really want to but you'd have to go back to an old version of the From Is 9 website which might be hard. And then I also have the bookmarks but I don't collect specific members for these since they are literally just pieces of paper. I'm sorry guys, but technically all of it's pieces of paper, but they don't have, like, they are member specific, but you wouldn't really be able to tell if they didn't have names on them. So I just have Serum and Jisun's, which I'm really happy with because Jisun's is so cute. I love sheep so much. They're so cute and it's pink. And then on this page I have um, Love Bomb or From Nine. So I have Cutie's Invitation and then a full set of the purple back and then cuties of the pink back and maybe one day the kinos but let's be real probably never the kinos <laughs> uh, I really wish I'd bought that when it came out but I didn't so now I'm just reaping the consequences of not buying it and then on the next page I have the fun version of fun factory which actually has a spread from their Instagram which is so cute and I love how it says fun which is perfect sadly they don't have one of those that says factory but it is cute I, mean, I love the grapefruit, it's really summery. And I only collect Cutie for this set, but I have completed Cutie set, so I'm really happy with that. And then this is where it gets kind of patchy. I'd love to have a full page for this, but I sadly don't have G1 and Soyeon's like, logo back. I think it's logo, because Soyeon's is a different way around. So if you look on the back, it's message message logo, 
but they're all the same outfit set so I decided to keep the like fun to outfits together and then these outfits together and they have the Kino so I don't feel too bad about not having those it would just look nice to have a complete set and then the next page is Everglow's Onda so Onda is actually someone I'm thinking of dropping and maybe collecting not collecting Eyes One but buying Eyes One's albums since I do love Onda, she's so sweet and adorable and funny, but I don't have the connection to Everglow anymore. So, because I have just not got Reminiscence yet. As you can see, Reminiscence is kind of missing. And I never really collected. I was lucky enough to pull Onda in both albums, and I did intend to get her other photo cards, but it just never really happened. So that's kind of sad, but. I am very happy with this card. This is such a cute card. Any idol with pink hair and then a flower crown topping it off. Amazing. Such a cute photo card. And then this is actually meant to be where her postcards. So I had the um, both Hush photo cards on this page. But as you can see, I took them out and they're actually in the album at the moment, just for safekeeping. Although I suppose putting them in a binder would be more safe. <laughs> But yeah, and then I have Red Velvet. So Red Velvet, I just collect what, it says here, it's still Yi and Yeri, favorite photo cards, which I would like to do one day, but at the moment I'm literally just collecting whichever member I have. So I pulled Yeri and Russian Roulette, which is amazing, because Russian Roulette was my first ever era with them. I think you could say, I didn't collect them, but I recently started collecting them and that was the first ever Red Velvet song I had. So I'm really happy that I pulled Yeri as she is like my bias along with Sulyi. They're kind of like together at the top. So I kind of wanted both their photo cards, but so if I'm just collecting one, I'm just doing whatever photo card I get in the album. And then I've got Joy, Irene and Wendy. So hopefully one day I'll get Sulgi. I'll put her right there. <laughs> and then, so then there's backs. I love the backs of Red Velvet cards. They're so cute. I don't know, they're just so adorable. And I have Wendy's postcard from day two. I actually had Wendy's ticket from the finale of Reve Festival, but I actually traded it. So I don't have any photos or anything of that. And then here's just extra photo cards I have to like trade or sell. And then lyrics papers. And then here's where the fun stuff starts. That's just an empty page, but this is all like album inclusions that aren't member specific, so like postcards and stuff. So I've got twice postcards, twice little envelopes for the pre-order cards, and then from us nine. So these are absolutely my favorite. I'll turn the actual page so you can see them better. But then I have them actually kind of in age order as this way up, they are in the correct age order, but if you put them this way, they're in the wrong age order. And I just love these postcards. I have Soyeon and Jiwon's and Cuties in my album, so you can't see them in here, but I also have the PE ones. So these ones, and I'll turn it around so you can see these ones as well. Sorry, I just hit something. I just, there's a giant pair of scissors that I'm using to mark the screen. And then those ones. I have the P, like, cute pastel outfits on my wall because I love those photos so much, so they're not in here. And then I have the letter and then, oh, another code that you can't use. There is another code there because I got both in my album, in both albums, if that makes sense. And then the envelopes. One of these still has the letter in. And then the pre-order cards. Cards, stickers. They're not really stickers though, because you can only stick them as a full set. And then another blank page. I, I think it's because I took a lot of my Everglow stuff out. There's a lot of blank pages. I could have just avoided this by clearing out my binder before I filmed this, but that would be smart and I'm definitely not smart. And instead I have now, the last thing in my album is just red velvet stuff. So the little lyrics books, cause ah, they're so cute. I don't know why I love these so much. They're literally just the same cover as the album, but they are really cute. So I have red velvets, Russian roulette, peekaboo, and then the guidebook for the Reve festival. And the finale sadly doesn't have like one. It might do in the, 
not the scrapbook version, the other version. I think it's the finale version. But I do have the little wrapping. Like, you know, it comes in cellophane wrapping. I have the sticker from that because I thought it was cute. So I put it in here. And then also the SM books. So that's the whole of my binder. I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was really fun making it. And uh, this is my first video. So wow. Follow me on F Flubber Fantasy, please. <laughs> wow.